Hello my lovely friends. This week we are just going to be hanging out by a cozy fire together and thinking of some new ways to use what is around us to stay inspired in wintertime. We have really been loving having fires every week. This has made it so we can make food outside and stay warm enough to stay outside for the whole day. Because everything is covered in this beautiful blanket of snow, I'm able to actually draw my attention to different details than maybe I wouldn't have noticed in the warmer months. Noticing the colors of the sunset as it comes over the mountains has been really beautiful. The ice has so many different textures. The shapes of the stones I am noticing more because I am noticing that green is really enduring on these stones and noticing these little ferns as well. So paying attention to the textures, to the stones in a different way, to the shapes. I've been exploring these in tapestries and in paintings that I'm really excited to share with you all in my winter art sale. There's like all this frost, just a little bit of snow. Not quite winter, <laughs> not quite fall. I really want to bring back some of the magic from these experiences back to the studio. So I'm going to try to make paint from the ash from the fires that we make. I just wanted to share some of our fun little adventures outside, enjoying winter and exploring the beauty that can come from that. Um, I hope that you all are enjoying the winter and finding some inspiration to create art and are seeing the beauty in it as well. Wow. If you are looking for further inspiration and guidance in your artistic journey, head to my website. I've got my shop there to shop my art and also some offerings where we can work together in your creative journey. Speak with your heart's fire. Bambalnia. Magic. <laughs> Who knows what will happen, but I think it's pretty magical. Happy making, friends. Hope you enjoyed exploring our little special spot with our fires. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>